Hello everyone, this is Ken. I'm going to show you today how to install Wine by Command Terminal into XUBuntu. So the first thing I need to do is bring up my terminal, which is Control Alt T. It's a shortcut. Now I have the commands here, so we're just going to copy and paste. We're going to copy our first command and paste it into our terminal and hit enter. Now it's asking for a password. Password is always the password that you set up to log into your system. And if you notice, you don't see anything touting on the screen. That's okay, it's there. Now we'll hit enter again. All right, so now we'll put our second command in, which is sudo at get update. We'll copy that, paste it in, and that's not going to work because I missed part of the copy. So let me do it this way. doing that I'm gonna go ahead and copy my next command well, this takes a few minutes to do doing it by uh, command line or terminal but you get a whole lot more complete and hit yes why for yes you get a whole lot more complete install dependencies and all and you don't have near the problem of installing your programs to it. Um, I haven't had any at all. I just install my programs and run. And I found that this is the best way to go. And like I said, it's taking a, it's going to take a few minutes. We are installing on XUB2 15.04. Which is one of my favorite systems to work with. Highly customizable. And, uh, very easy to operate. It's a great system for a newbie. I changed the menu by the way. It's a great system for a newbie to operate or an experienced uh, Linux user. Let's have to download as it goes. That won't take too much long for this stage of it to, to uh, complete and we'll move on to the next command. And the next command is very important that you answer. There's two questions it's going to ask you that you, you need to answer uh, because those things are something that you need if you want your if you want your wine system to operate and function properly. And I run all my photo software on wine. And I discovered that I have a problem moving the pointer all over the screen. <laughs> and everything, the fonts and what have you. And the neat thing about this is you can you can watch the screen and tell what it's doing. And if there's an error, it'll, it'll tell you that too. Okay, so now we are at the second screen, or, or the first screen that you got to answer. You highlight this by either the right arrow key or the left arrow key. And then we highlight this, and we're off and going. Go 
just lock it all the way near the end, third command. Oh, we'll find out in a minute. I get talking and, and doing things and forget that I just done something. <laughs> No errors. That's great. But you need your storefront fonts and all that you're doing. It's installing now. For what the fonts you're talking about. I'm quite sure that I did see it, but let's see if I did. Yes, I did. Okay, we're going to exit it. Yes, I T. We're going to exit it. All right, our next step, we go find our wine, configure wine. We thought we were through installing. <laughs> okay, we're going to configure wine. All right, we're going to say, yeah, we're going to install this. It's got to download it and install it. Like I say, this is the best way I've found to install it. You can you can go to Synaptics or you can go to your uh, software manager. But the thing is, when you get there, you'll find out there's a whole lot of things to choose from. And if you don't if you don't install the proper things, then it just don't work correctly. So why not just use command line and go ahead and install it correctly to start with? At least that's the way I, I think about it. And I did have a question from somebody. I got an email about wine. And uh, I hope this answers his question as to, to uh, what to do and how to install wine. And if you notice, I don't edit my videos and cut out my bloopers. I let the bloopers stay in there and adds a little bit of commented to the to the videos at least things that it's installing now is really important this one's a little bit slower yeah I run XGV2 on my uh, main hard drive that is my operating system of choice in Linux really enjoy it. Like I say, it's highly customizable. I can make it look the way I want it to look. But right now I'm installing on a fresh install. If you hadn't tried XUV2, I would highly recommend. Okay, now we're done. I would highly recommend that uh, you give it a shot. I'm going to save the document. And this is the configuration box. I always just leave it like it is, and it works great. But if you want to set it up something else, you do have a choice. All the way down to 95, up to 8.1, you just click on whatever. Sometimes I might want to do that, but and it's configured. Now, to install your program, a lot of people will want to know how to install a program. Well, I haven't downloaded any Windows programs, but what I tell you, once you download the program that you want to put in there, or if you have a program that you want to put in, you simply right click on that program. And click uh, install with Windows Loader, and it will load it up for you. And it gets through. You got your application installed, and you're ready to run. So I hope that has helped somebody in some way. So I'm going to sign off for now. I'll see y'all later. Like I say, if there's any questions about anything that I can help you with. 
let me know and I'll try to address it. And if I don't know the answer, we'll find the answer. This is Ken, hoping y'all all a good day, a good week, and take care.